You ready? Make it. You ready? Time to unload. I've been learning to fight. I've been learning to fight again. I was. It is midnight. Didn't make our night deadline, but I got my boy. And we're headed back to the boat. Um, my steering's still being a little funky to put it the best way. Um, fingers crossed, I'm gonna leave so that I am out on the ocean side by a little bit of light, test autopilot. If it goes well, I'll keep going. And if not, I'll turn back and work on it. It's not the end of the world. I don't have to get hauled out, so that's big, but we'll see. Mako's all leashed up, life jacket ready. I just made coffee, it's five. 20, bridge is at 545. Uh, I'm about to check all the navigation gear. Engine's running to charge the batteries a little bit till the solar's up. And let's hope it goes well. Bridge number one. What do you think about that, mister? He hates the sound of the engine. Okay, you guys can't see me, but a little update. I just got through the first bridge I had and I turned on autopilot immediately and the second I turned on autopilot, the little shaking I did have completely went away and the autopilot works. Hi Fort Lauderdale, I think, let's see, we have a big ship in front of us, we're going five and a half knots. The wind is directly east southeast be tacking a bit but now the sails out by sunrise only going five knots which is why I wanted to leave last night
a little nervous yesterday just because I haven't done it so long. But feels good. about 3 p.m. and about one hour ago I could see the sky change from the Bohemian water. It's a little more teal in it and uh, the wind is only six knots now and I have the engine on and we're going six knots. Six to six and a half. I'm hoping to clear customs in the morning and then head to Nassau and troubleshoot my steering and my solar and my wind. Um, about 24 hours before a really fun group comes on. One of us is way more excited than the other. We are officially in the Bahamas. We have pretty blue seas and about a foot chop and we're about to turn in five minutes and put the sails back out. He's clearly excited. the cutest thing in the world. He's been watching the waves for five to 10 minutes now, just doing this. I can just see his head going back and forth. It's the cutest thing. We're about 12 to 13 hours into the trip and he's finally comfortable again. Not fully, because he's not running around the boat like he was last night, but he's a happy boy. And for anyone who wonders, I do harness him up with me. So he's always harnessed up and I have his life jacket ready to go. Just came up. We are still motor sailing. Um, 
was a long night of motoring. It got super cold, so cold. Yeah, I'm excited to anchor tonight. Um, we're not going directly to Nassau. We're going to go by Andros and then make our way to Nassau to check in. And hopefully the wind's just a little more out of south. So we can sail to Nassau. to pull into my favorite bay to clear customs. Um, I didn't really decide what I was going to do today until I got to the tongue and looked at the wind. And I'll be waiting in about an hour. It's 8 o'clock. Customs opens at 9 by swimming to drop anchor. Uh, and hopefully get to Nassau this afternoon. Here goes nothing. It's been three and a half months versus three, and technically cruising permits are only good for three months, but I got good to return within three months, but I got a one year and I just called them and they said it should be good, but that's Nassau and this is Andrew, so wish me luck. Every step, writing stories that seek to be read, taking hold of the moment as we discover every color filled with wonder now we finally see we got everything we need and yes we tie up to trees here in andros gonna raise, take out the main, and be on our way to Nassau. favorite time of day. I'm all anchored. I just got the dinghy down and it is ocean shower time. It is my favorite thing in the world and I've been so looking forward to it. Good morning. We are so happy to finally be home. Thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing. I really wanna hear what you guys enjoyed and didn't enjoy about um, this episode. What you guys would maybe like more of, less of, or stuff I don't show that you guys would like to see while I'm solo sailing, as this is what I do 90% of the time, and I'd like to show you guys what you wanna see. Um, please comment what you guys would like more of down below and stay tuned for next week.